assalamu alaikum this video is about cubital tunnel syndrome basically it's ulnar nerve entrapment at the elbow which will lead to the pain in the elbow and in the little finger and somehow in the ring finger first of all we will check what is the definition of cubital tunnel syndrome the definition states that cubital tunnel syndrome happens whenever the ulnar nerve on the inner side of the elbow is injured becomes inflamed or swollen and irritated this ulnar nerve passes through the cubital tunnel and this cubital tunnel consists of a muscle and a ligament and a bone so whenever the ulnar nerve that passes through this cubital tunnel is injured or becomes inflamed swollen or irritated this will lead to cubital tunnel syndrome after definition there comes the causes the causes of cubital tunnel syndrome are it may happen when a person bends the elbow often or leans on their elbow a lot or has an injury to the area the other causes may be arthritis bone spurs and previous fractures or maybe dislocation of the elbow may be the cause of cubital tunnel syndrome after causes there comes the symptoms the symptoms of cubital tunnel syndrome consists of numbness and tingling in the hand somehow in the ring finger and in the little finger especially when the elbow is bent it may also lead to hand pain or aching pain on the inside of the elbow it will lead to weak grip and clumsiness due to the weak grip and the muscle weakness of the affected arm and the affected hand after the symptoms there comes the diagnosis of cubital tunnel syndrome there are two basic tests nerve conduction test and electromyogram test nerve conduction test is for nerve for the ulnar nerve electromyogram is for muscle function test so nerve conduction test is a test to find out how fast the signals travel through a nerve to find a compression or a constriction of the nerve while electromyogram is the test that that checks the nerve and the muscle function and may be used to test the forearm muscles that are controlled by this nerve after diagnosis there comes the assessment tests the tests that are used to confirm the diagnosis of cubital tunnel syndrome that may be those linking the ulnar neuropathy and the elbow these tests should evoke provocative signs or may reproduce the signs that are mentioned in the causes of cubital tunnel syndrome first of all there is elbow flexion test if it is reproducing the symptoms positive tunnel sign test at the elbow or the sign of instability for example whenever snapping of the ulnar nerve over the medial epicondyle with the elbow flexion now we will discuss these all tests in detail first comes the elbow flexion test this elbow flexion test is performed as you can see the picture in the slide typically it is performed bilaterally on both sides with the shoulder in full external rotation and elbow in flexion with the wrist extension held for 1 minute symptoms are produced as the elbow is maximally flexed and it reduces the cubital tunnel volume by approximately 55% and this reduction in cubital tunnel volume may increase the neural pressure on the ulnar nerve and this will lead to the reproduction of pain a positive test is the reproduction of pain as i have mentioned at the medial aspect of elbow and then after pain numbness and tingling in the ulnar distribution on the involved side elbow flexion test is performed in the way you can see in the slide after elbow flexion test there comes the pressure provocation test pressure is applied to the ulnar nerve at the cubital tunnel with the upper extremity positioned as you can see in the picture elbow flexion test for 30 seconds sensitivity with this test is very high 
you can perform this test as you can see pressure is applied on the ulnar nerve and this will produce the pain and tingling sensations in the origin and in the course of nerve after this pressure provocation test there comes the tinel sign test there is a basic difference between tinel sign test and elbow flexion test that in elbow flexion test there is reproduction of pain while in tinel sign test there is reproduction of tingling and numbness in the fourth and the fifth digits by tapping uh, at the ulnar nerve at the cubital tunnel the physiotherapist will proceed with percussions on the ulnar nerve as it passes through the cubital tunnel after the ulnar groove and it's posterior to the of the medial epicondyle of the humerus as you can see in this slide a positive test of tinel sign test is the reproduction of tingling and numbness in the ulnar nerve distribution of the involved site after tinel sign test there comes the scratch collapse test and researchers suggest that scratch collapse test has a significantly higher sensitivity than tinel sign test and flexion nerve compression test for carpal tunnel and cubital tunnel syndromes how to perform this test is the patient's skin is lightly scratched over the area of nerve compression while whenever after this compression the shoulder external rotation is performed but we have to resist this bilateral shoulder external rotation this is how the scratch collapse test is performed after all these assessment and diagnostic tests there comes the treatment for cubital tunnel syndrome first of all there are some kind of precautions that we can take for cubital tunnel syndrome resting and stopping any activity that aggravates the condition such as bending on the elbow that can be prevented and if cubital tunnel syndrome has happened a splint or a foam elbow brace worn at night this will reduce the irritation and limit the movement after that you may use an elbow pad to protect against the chronic irritations from the hard surfaces whenever you are working in any kind of hard surface condition after treatment there comes the physiotherapy management for physiotherapy management first of all we will discuss how to perform the electrotherapy in electrotherapy there comes first the tens for cubital tunnel syndrome tens is basically transcutaneous electrical nerve stimulation so whenever we place both the pads of tens on the region and insertion of the ulnar nerve this will stimulate the nerve this will help to regenerate the nerve and this will help to mimic the pain signals coming from the brain and help to reduce the symptoms of cubital tunnel syndrome and regenerate the nerve as soon as possible after tens there comes the ultrasound modality as you can see in the slide the probe of the ultrasound can should be placed on the course of ulnar nerve the ultrasound rays goes deep into the tissues and help to recover the nerve injury or any kind of muscular injury that will lead to cubital tunnel syndrome after using these two electrotherapy modalities we will come for man manual therapy so the exercises of cubital tunnel syndrome are sit tall and reach the affected arm straight out in front of you with your elbow straight and arm level with your shoulder then extend your hand away from you pointing your fingers towards the ground and bend your elbow and bring your wrist towards your face and repeat slowly 5 to 10 times i'll show you how to perform the exercises this slide will show you how to perform all the exercises all the manual therapy you can perform at home for cubital tunnel syndrome so this was all about cubital tunnel syndrome definition causes and symptoms diagnostic assessment tests treatment electrotherapy and manual therapy physiotherapy management for cubital tunnel syndrome for more videos about the physiotherapy management on the selected topics do comment us in the comment section and subscribe us at this youtube channel